everyone, my name is Bob Gibbs. Today, you're going to be getting excited about pensions. And I really mean that. My job is in 10 minutes is to get you excited about pensions. And I'm going to need your help today as well. Okay, so I'm going to tell you some things. It's going to start with a Mars bar and it's going to progress. And what I want to do for me, your participation is crucial. What I'd like is at the end of each segment, when I change, I'm going to ask a question. And what I want you to do is just say, yes, Bob. Simple as that. Very, very easy. And to make it even easier, because I'm all about making life simple with my USB, is I'm going to go like this, just to give you a clue. OK, so we're going to start. So a Mars bar, why have I got a Mars bar here? That's crazy, surely. Well, a pension is like a Mars bar. It really is. Because a Mars bar has a wrapper, and a pension is just a wrapper. That's all it is. It's not actually anything, just something that goes around something. And then the stuff that goes inside a Mars bar is all sticky and sweet. Well, investments, they go in a pension. They're all sticky and sweet. Well, so um, what exactly is a pension? A pension is a government scheme. Okay, that's the bit you need to know. How long for? Well, pensions actually started in the 1890s. Can you believe pensions actually started with WH Smiths and Coleman's? Yep, they started a pension scheme for their employees literally 120 years ago. Incredible. But it wasn't until 1921 that personal pensions first came along. And then ever since then, the pension market has gone massive. And it now is worth literally four to five trillion pounds in the UK alone. It's huge. So is a pension just like a Mars bar? Yes, it is. Oh, we're getting this. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. OK, right. OK, so why do we have a baby here? Well, the, the answer to this is quite simple. Anybody can have a pension. Yes, even this little sweetheart here can have a pension. It's true. From the moment you're born, all the way really until age 75. So, can anyone have a pension? Yes, Bob. Fantastic. <laughs> so, why have a pension? Why, why bother having a pension? Well, you get free money. And I'll come on to that bit later on, because it's called tax relief. But also, having a pension is one of the three building blocks of having a successful and lovely retirement. Those three key ingredients are to have a home to live in, because you've got to live somewhere, and have that paid off. Have some savings, because people need money to go and do nice things, like having a car, like having a lovely holiday. And finally, you need income in the form of pension. It gives you an income to pay your bills, to live your life, to do the, th the three, all the things you need, just to go from day to day. Have those three things, your retirement will be amazing. And also, why have a pension? If you don't have a pension, there is a thing in this country called the um, government pension. It's been called a number of things over the years, but as of 2017, April, it became known as the new state pension. It's currently £164.35p a week. Who'd want to live on £164.35p a week? Who could? Not many of us. It's not, not possible. And the state pension is designed only to provide shelter, to provide clothing, and to avoid severe financial hardship with maybe some baked beans on toast. That's all it's designed to do. The free money comes from this charming chap who's extremely good looking. Not as good looking as me, but, but he's, uh, he's pretty good looking. Hey, I like it. Improvise, thank you. Yes, this, ma this man is Philip Hammond. And like his predecessors, he's in charge of giving away money to us. It's called tax relief. How does it work? It's very simple. If you have £100 that goes into a pension and you're just a normal taxpayer, basic rate, you only pay 80 Also, businesses. Anybody here, limited company? Yes, Bob. Oh, a few yes, Bobs. I like it. OK, right. Well, if you're a limited company and trade as a limited company and you put money into a pension, your corporation bill is actually tax is um, reduced. You pay less corporation tax than you would because you've got money going into a pension. So there is free money there. But bearing in mind, What's going on at the moment? There's no pension changes because of something called Brexit. You've all heard of that? Well, it's going to sort itself out at some point, And when it does, this man's going to need to find some money from the inland revenue. He's going to need to find some money from taxes. And he may look at pensions. So things could change. And there have been a lot of changes in the past. OK, so well, you're putting all this money into a pension. But then what do you do? What happens to it? Where does it go? What do you do? Well. This money all goes into a pot. This pot of money is available to you from 55 years old. Okay, so from that age, you can actually take out 25% of 
as a tax-free lump sum of money. But this is changing as well. This is why you've got to act when you can, because from 2028, you've got to be 57. And who knows, they might change the rules again. But it's 55 now. OK, so people always ask me in my interview when I'm interviewing clients and having questions. They always say, they bring up the subject before I do. What happens if I get hit by a bus? And rest in peace. God bless. Well, <laughs> the answer is, with pensions now, and this, the rules as they are, if you die, your money tax-free goes to your family. It does not form part of your estate as long as it's set up correctly. But bearing in mind, this does change when you get to 75. OK, so we have two lovely people here who I've helped. Two clients of mine, two case studies. So who do we have here? We have Don. Now, Don um, originally was just working in, a, in the retail sector and he had a light bulb moment. Many years ago, now about 30 years ago, he decided that pensions were a good idea. He spoke to his employer and they said, you can pay into a pension. They paid into a pension and he said, well, how much can I pay in? So he found out how much he could pay in and he paid loads of his disposable income into a pension and led a relatively simple life. Um, this extra money was, he was paying into a pension was called AVCs, Additional Voluntary Contributions. But he got tax relief, the government was paying money in, he was paying money in, the company was paying money in, and it built to a huge pension fund. He then met me in his 40s, and I helped him with ISAs as well. And he built up all those savings, whilst also paying his mortgage off. Then, at 55 years old, he retired. And ever since then, the only time I ever hear about him is on Facebook when I'm seeing him travelling off to India and around the world. <laughs> and finally, go back to the original thing. So let's just summarise what we've learned today, shall we, people? Would you like a summary? Yes. Okay, right. So the summary is, <laughs> our pension is just like a Mars bar. It's completely flexible. Anybody can have a pension. This chap, Donald, as long as you're below 75, it makes sense to put money into a pension. Why have a pension? Well, it's one of the three building blocks of having a fantastic retirement. Have a home, have some savings and get a pension. Other reasons to have a pension include the free money from the government, from Philip Hammond, the tax relief. It's available to everyone, but so underused, it's just unreal. If you can't spend it because something terrible happens, your family get it. If you've got a wife and then she dies, it leaves it to her husband. If he dies, it goes to the children. If the children die, it can then go to somebody else. It follows the family. People have taken advantage of this so far, a little bit or a lot. It's up to you which way you do. And that is why pension is like a Mars bar. And remember, my last point, your retirement needs you. Thank you very much.